Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up numbered headings in a Word document to help with your assignments, your research reports or your dissertations. So to do this first and foremost we need to make sure we're in the Home tab and we need to navigate to the Paragraph settings here. We want to click on this third one that says Multi-Level List. Click on that and ensure that you click on this one here that has the numbers cascading 1, 1.1, 1.1.1 and has heading 1, heading 2 and heading 3. Click on that. Now that this is done, go back into that setting and make sure you click on the little arrow. We want to go down to define new multi-level list. So, for example, if this is um, a normal assignment, we would leave this here, but we want to make sure that we click more and follow number with, currently it says tab, we want to change that to space. If, however, you are doing a station, we want to make sure that this first heading is our chapter heading. So, before that number one, we want to click there and we want to type in chapter and then we want to and a uh, space bar for space. Follow number width, make sure that is selected as space. And you can see here that's showing you what that would look like. Now we want to click on the number two. Now this is going to be your heading effectively for your main body of work. And again, in APA, every heading should start with the number of the chapter that it's in. So for example, this is going to be our first heading in chapter one, hence why it would be 1.1. So all we need to do here is just follow number width and make sure we click space. Number three, we do the same, follow with space. And number four, we do the same. The only thing we want to change here is in APA is that third heading could be in italics. So if we click on font, make sure italics is selected and then click OK, and then click OK. Now, as you see here, it's got the one. That's fine. But there's a couple of things we need to do before we're ready to go. You want to navigate to styles and click on the little right hand arrow here. And you want to go down to manage styles. Now, this is important because currently Word sets this up in a different font and it sets it up in blue. And obviously, we want to make sure these are black and also as part of the same font that you're using. So, clicking on heading one, we want to click modify. You want to change your font first and foremost to whatever it is that your document is in. So, I'll change that to Arial. I'll drop this down to 16 because it's a title. And I'll change this to black. And again, a couple of things you could do here. Um, so, for example, because this is a chapter title, I want that in the center. And I also want to make sure there's a gap between that and the text. So I'm going to click on this middle one here. And then I'm going to click OK. And then again, heading two, I want to change that. So I want to click heading two. I want to modify this. I want to change that to Arial. I want that to be one step below. I want that to be um, 14. I want to change that black. And again, I want that space there. Click OK. In the same for three, change that to 14, aerial, black, and a space. And then finally, this one here goes smaller. It's aerial 12, it's already done that for us. We make it black. And again, we want to have that little space there. And then we click OK, and then click OK. So now, that's all set up for us. So chapter one. So we can just have this as introduction. We press enter. And again, we want to click our first heading. So we click up here, heading. The next one, if we needed another main heading that populates it as 1.2, for example. If I wanted a subheading of that, we would click this one, and again, it would change that to us. And if we needed a subheading of that, it would that for us. 
So this is really, really useful. And you keep doing that, it's going to keep track of everything that you do. If you do a new chapter, so for example, imagine this is the start of a new page, chapter two. And now it's kept it all right. Now change that to 2.1, as we discussed before. Why this is important? Because if we do that for our thesis, we can insert our table of contents. So once you've done that and you've created your thesis and you're in your contents page, and then all we need to do is we need to go to references, table of contents on the left-hand side, and then we click on, it's up to you, first one or second one, and it creates your contents page for you. Change this, highlight that, change that to black font, and again, change that to the current font that you're using in your work document. And that's as simple as that.